Natural Fuse is a microscale carbon dioxide overload protection framework that works locally and globally, harnessing the carbon sinking capabilities of plants. Generating electricity to power the electronic products that populate our lives has consequences on the amount of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere, which in turn has detrimental environmental effects. The carbon footprint of the power used to run these devices can be offset by the natural carbon capturing processes that occur as plants absorb carbon dioxide and grow. Natural fuse units take advantage of this phenomenon. They are now distributed in households in London, New York, and San Sebastian. Each natural fuse unit consists of a house plant and a power socket. The amount of power available to the socket is limited by the capacity of the plant to offset the carbon footprint of the energy expended. If the appliance you plug in draws so much power that it requires more carbon offsetting than available, then the unit will not power, just like a fuse. The problem is that even low power light bulbs draw more power than can be comfortably offset by a single plant. So all the units are connected together via the internet so that they can communicate and determine how much excess capacity of carbon offsetting is available within the community of units as a whole. For example, if you use an appliance that draws 4 watts and there are 6 natural fuse units out in the community that are not currently drawing power, then you can switch on your appliance at full capacity and comfortably offset the carbon footprint of your appliance by borrowing from the other units. Calculations, of course, include the energy cost of powering the electronics inside the unit itself. Building on what is known as prisoner's dilemma in game theory, the project is as much about the structures of participation as it is about energy conservation. Rather than just having an on-off switch for your appliance, you're provided with a selfless, selfish switch. If you choose selfless, then the unit will provide only enough power that won't harm the carbon footprint of the community. But if the carbon sequestering capacity of the community is currently low, i.e. there's not enough units out there that are not being used, the electricity may switch off after a few seconds, though it could be long, long, long enough for what you need to do. If, on the other hand, you absolutely must have electricity, for example, you hear an intruder in your apartment and you must switch on your light at full power, then you might want to choose selfish, which will give you as much power as your appliance needs. But if you harm the community's carbon footprint, i.e. it goes from negative to positive, then the natural fuse system will kill somebody else's plant. Each unit actually has three lives to lose, before which a vinegar shot is dispensed to the unlucky plant. So as it loses each life, an email is sent both to the owner of that plant and the owner that sent the kill signal. This provides them the capability to communicate and explain situations to each other prior to final execution of the plant. The point is that people's decisions to be selfish or not have a visceral impact on others in the community. By networking natural fuse together, people share their capacity and take advantage of carbon sinking surplus in the system, since not all natural fuses will be in use at any one time. If people cooperate on energy expenditure, then the plants thrive, and everyone may use more energy. But if they don't, then the network starts to kill plants, thus diminishing the network's electrical capacity as a whole.